Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Let's Play MechWarrior 5 Mercenaries Tips and Tricks on how to start. Yes, um, we're not using the right machines. We're now traveling deeper into the territory hoping for a good assassination mission, but I get the point. The mission, the mechs that we bought, the Blackjack and the um, Phoenix Hawk, are not the machines that we really want. They're good, no question, but they're not good as we really want them. We want machines that pack a lot of firepower for relatively um, lightweight, which, for example, would be the Kintaro or um, something similar. Let's see what they have to offer here. Assassins. That's not even a good variant. You could put this thing, I think, with two SRMs as well, and then a medium laser. But what is the advantage to a Javelin? It's 10 tons more heavy, and it doesn't bring that much more firepower to the table. So you know what I mean. That is not, oh boy, a level 14 assassination mission. No, that's not that good, and that is... Oh, boy, that's a worse than contract. Now oh, we can give it a go. But we need uh, we need different, mach different machines here. Can you give me the Phoenix Hawk? Because you're good with lasers. You're good with a lot of things. And you're good primarily with missiles. So you're happy with this one? And you can get it a little bit more heavy. Let's give you this one, shall we? Perfect. Yes. Okay. Let's see each other on the field. And here we go. Now, what I mean is there are certain mechs you can ignore on the battlefield if push comes to shove. For example, if you have a locust running around you, if you have an assassin running around you, if you have a cicada running around you, that is machines that you can ignore. But there are machines... Oh, can we destroy that thing? That is just a spider, right? And that is just a locust. Now, I not say you can ignore them 100% of the time, but <coughs> for example, there are machines that are more dangerous than others. And that is, I think, a theme you should stick to. Yeah, we can kill those guys completely because we are not dependent on them. We don't need them. This is not the loot we want. Yeah, it's just a locust. One more hit to the leg and he'll be... Yeah, useless to us though. But the wall has a big hole now. And according to the intel, there should be one more enemy. Ah, great, it's an LRM carrier. But as long as he cannot pick line of sight to us, his, use, his rockets are useless. Who did help us there? So this is just um, an assassin that helps us, okay. And as this is not a defense mission, we have no problem in um, fighting inside the facility because we don't care about the damage that occurs here. And of course I miss. And I'm getting flamered by a small tank. Ah. Okay, I think it's time to take his legs off.
This guy is really resilient for the fact that he's such a small machine. And again, the little ones don't help us that much. Okay, catch him. We have to destroy 15 targets, but vehicles also count. So it isn't that hard. Our assassin is losing out on everything, especially arms. Okay, we go after this one. The Centurion, for example, is not a heavily armored mech, uh, armed mech. We're not really having a lot of firepower here. Oh, look at that. <laughs> okay, tell you what, before they come in, we get out. Let's see what these freaks have to... Oh, he already dealt with them. Okay. That is one less. My guys are doing relatively good work here. Well, they're fighting relative small machines. That must have hurt. Sadly, so far, again, it's nothing that we can use. Urban Mech is a dangerous enemy. Because even though he's not the best when it comes to speed, he is relatively good at um, dealing damage. That was a good shot. Whoa, that was good. And that wasn't even me. Oh, we're already low on ammo. How could that be? How? Yeah, we should not walk in a direct line against a mech of that type. Good, that is one weapon off. Let's take the other off in his history. Let's stay together. We're down to four shots, but our people can still fight. That is a Jenner. That's not a good machine. Very flimsy arms. And another locust. That is a problem because at the moment he has more firepower than I have. Ah, great. I forgot that my lasers are not arm mounted. So there's only one more we have to kill and we're losing our shield arm. Now that arm is principally useless because there is no weapon in that arm of the Centurion, but it is a defense. It is something that keeps us alive because it takes all the hit, or most of the hits. It's like additional armor plating to our side torso. He has an LRM, so if we get close to him, there is not a lot he can do. If we close in quickly enough. 
course he is doing his best to gain distance. Oh, we're so ready to leave the fray because uh, look at us. I think one of our friends already don't have any armor again. So let's keep moving. Oh, look at that, helicopters. Where is my companion? Where is the assassin? Is he already dead? Everyone form on we. We fight as one unit. Oh, great. I'll take care of that freak. I may trample him. Good work. That is a panther. That's a good example of a mech that is no use to us because he's got his weapon in his arm. And if he loses that arm with the PPC, he's useless. And that's totally not the way we want it. There we are. Everyone. Everyone on me. The helmets they wear, by the way, are that of the old um, books, technical manuals. The, the real helms really look that awful. You know the one that looks like he's got a dishwasher on his hand? That is one of the original. Okay, we're all against that guy now, right? If we could gain some distance, we could LRM the fella. We're outside range, great. Oh, well, we're, we're more inside range, so to speak. Come on, that is one. Are you telling me you just lost an arm to a fire starter, honestly? And yet, there was nothing that we could really use. The question is, did he lose the arm with the gun? I think he lost the arm with the gun. which would be outright terrible, but I think it was his weapon arm with the large laser that we cannot replace. Because <clears throat> we don't have that weapon. Yeah, I'm no use with only two medium lasers. Freeman, what are you doing with my machine all the time? Okay, okay, we're pulling out. I got it. So we're already fighting. Yeah, okay, I got it. I get it, we're out. Well, I'm not pleased because we didn't get what... Oh, he lost both arms. Great. To 
horrific. And I cannot even repair that thing because I don't have what it takes. We get a panther value, and of course no lasers to replace the damaged one, right? No, of course not. LRM 10 and an AC, but the payment is really good. Look at the damage taken. Oh my god! He lost both arms. That is terrifyingly bad. Terrifyingly bad. Market, please, please tell me you're selling lasers. Large laser, okay. PPC could be the answer. Because theoretic, I'm just speaking theoretically here, you can replace um, a large laser with a PPC. They have about the same profile. Uh, let's buy the heat sinks. Good. Oh boy. Um, okay, let's go to the battle mix section. We're pretty badly damaged, right? Yes, we are. Repair that. Ten days. Repair that. Repair that. Uh, edit load out. Oh boy, look at that mess. Repair all. We want the large laser in. We want the medium lasers in. Small ballistics, machine guns. We don't have enough machine guns. We just have one machine gun. We have to buy another machine gun. Console, um, market, confirm, inventory. They're not selling machine guns, you're kidding me. Ah, bogus. And we cannot even repair this machine because we don't have what it takes. We have got no PPC. Great. Just great. Okay, let's do what we can to get this machine at least halfway combat ready. Okay, we're one ton underweight because that thing weights a ton. 0 0.5 tons. Okay, yeah, that's that's as close as we get for the moment. Start working. Oh, boy, is that thing wrecked. And with you, what do I do with you? I could buy a PPC, but just buying a PPC for you doesn't seem a little bit out of hand, doesn't it? On the other hand, though, maybe we can make something out of you. And a PPC is not a bad weapon. Although paying 400,000 for it is a lot of coin. But be that it may, we've got one of those to spare. That's okay. Wait, that's a medium slot, right? Ah, it's a small slot. Okay, crap. Would have been a wonderful idea. I had a wonderful idea. Um... A lot of heat sinks, by the way, but that's necessary because of the PPC. So that's not that's not really something new. Max armor. Get the PPC in. Get the SRM in. So that's all the heat sinks I have, right? And I'm putting it all into a machine that is most likely not used to it. And we don't have bought SRAM ammo, so... And it's 59 days before that thing becomes operational again. That is basically useless. How much do we get if we sell it? Just, you know... What it is... What is it net worth? One million. Okay, so when we think that this machine takes 60 days to repair and is as hard as it sounds, basically useless for us. Because 
we're not get not getting that thing to anything that we can use. We're selling it. Because the chance that this thing loses his weapons as well as this thing is simply too high. With that being said, let's see you all next time. Bye!